one I've come on to show you how I make my corner edges the um, double-sided corner edges that I have for my journal pages so I've got a page here that I'm going to use I'll fold it in half so that this is roughly the size of page I usually have when I make a journal now what I use is a I always use an envelope because it, there's no um, folder or anything to do with it it's already done so what I do is I, I seal the envelope first like that and then you can see that, that uh, you can pop it on the corner of your page and I cut, usually cut it in a triangle across there like that. But if you wanted to, you could cut it all the way down here. You could have a, a really long corner tuck or you could cut it shorter. Let's get the ruler out. If you, any corner tuck, that would make a corner tuck. So you could cut it to that size that size, that size. I usually do it to this size, which is, so let's see, that's, this envelope is 11.3 by 16.5. Two, but any size envelope will do. So I'm just thinking if I go 11.3 down here, I'm not usually so uh, precise about it, I'll have you know. But yeah, then you'll know that it's the same length that way as it is that way. And then you would match up your mark and your corner draw a line across like that I've just drawn onto me a bit of card in the background as well we'll just remove that and then you can cut it straight across like this I've got it in a bright colour so that you can see what I'm doing but you won't see the envelope when I'm finished anyway because I do always cover cover them but if you had a plain white envelope you wouldn't need to cover that side would you but you do need to cover this side because it has the opening on it so then what you've got is your blank corner tuck now yeah that just pops onto the corner of the page like that and you can tuck things into it hold on that's a bit big you can tuck things into it like that and they'll hold on there and you can do the same on the other side as well. And I usually decorate both sides. Now, like I say, another thing you, we could have done is we could have had a longer corner tuck. We could have, let's try a longer one. What I normally do is I would use this as a pocket. as a. But you could also use it as a corner pocket if you slit it just here. Let me slit it just there to show you. If you slit it just here you can pop that on the bottom of your page on a different page or on the same it's up to you pop it on hold on i don't quite slit it for me. honestly what a twit i'm having that kind of day today it's one of them days it is honestly right so then if you cut that like that you can then have a corner tuck for the bottom of your page like that so you've got a cop a cop a top corner tuck and a bottom hold on it's getting stuck in the bit of paper in there and a bottom corner i mean these are brilliant aren't they you can um put all sorts in there and it would hold a fairly big piece of of um ephemera wouldn't it um or else you could cut it and just decorate it and have it as a pocket you know anywhere on your page you could have it as a pocket just there couldn't you but what i'm going to do is i'm going to try doing a different shaped corner pocket as well today so i've slipped that bit there haven't i so we can get it on like that and then if we wanted to we could just draw a bit of a fancy shape on it it doesn't have to be i was thinking of going sort of down and then round like this 
maybe even curve it at the bottom so we've got a bit of a curved corner pocket we could even curve it at the top here couldn't we let's let's curve it at the top as well remember you're not going to see the envelope when it's done because i am going to i will um i always do cover them up so let's try that we'll try a, a curved We'll try a curved one. There we go. So that's a pretty curved one, isn't it? So with something like that, you wouldn't have to decorate it as much, I don't think. You could just pop, you know, pop... Um, some card or something on it so because i'm doing the wedding journal next i'm going to uh cover this one in this card and make it quite neutral or weddingy now it doesn't matter if you overlap a bit because you can trim it off another thing you can do if you overlap is to glue both sides together so that you don't see any of the envelope at all or you can do it you can even do it like this so that you can see the edge of the envelope. I mean, that's quite pretty, isn't it? Yeah, let's do it like that today, shall we? Let's do it like that. That's quite pretty. So let's get some glue. I'm going to use my glue stick because I'm onto my good ones. I've used up all my... I bought some that I didn't like. They were... I mean, I know it sounds ridiculous because it's glue, but they were too sticky. <laughs> what I mean is... They were just, the glue was coming off in big globs. It wasn't just coming off in a smooth, yeah, it was coming off in great big globs and I really, I didn't like it. No, it upset me, that did. <laughs> I'm such a twit. Right, so yeah. So say if you had a silver envelope or any colour envelope. So on this side, at least, I'm going to just pop it like this. So we've got a little bit left the beauty of glue stick is you've got a bit of time to move it around so let's just hutch it around a bit until we're happy with it there we go so now I've got a little bit of that left showing you do it how you want to do it I'll do the other I'll show do the other side how I normally do it so you can see now let me get a wiper because I have actually got a bit of extra glue down here that I just want to make sure I wipe that off this is lovely card I actually bought it I went to the car boot at the weekend it's the first time I've been in ages and the little shop where I normally buy all my little um, journaling bits is it's they seem to be stopping selling all the journaling bits they only had a tiny little bit in the corner but I found this um, card in it and I thought, oh, won't that be nice in the wedding journal? Can you see it's a little bit shiny and it's got a picture on it? Anyway, I've got that glued on there. So what I'm going to do now is turn it over and trim it. Just trim it across there like that. and then what because I can cover the edge with lace so don't worry if you don't get your edge quite right and then on the back I mean you, I could do the same on the back I'd have to leave a, a narrower thing because you can see this part of the envelope but what I'm going to do on the back is cover the whole thing first I need to trim this off here I've got like an edge on, it's got like an edge on it Let's trim that edge off like that. And then I can, I'll glue that onto there like that. So let's glue, put glue on the whole back this time. Well, I put glue on the whole back last time like a twist. That's why I had to wipe it off. There we go. And then pop that on. There we go. Give it a good rub. I love this glue. I do. And I, I'm I'm not going to try any others. I'm not. Um, yeah, it goes on so nicely. And it, you get enough of it to do what you want it to do. 
but it, that other was, oh, it was horrible. It was getting everywhere and I was so fed up with it by the time I'd done. I thought, well, I'm, I'm not, I'm just going to stick with the glue that I like. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Stick with what I know. There we are. So that's both sides covered now. Make sure you've got it all glued where it should be glued. And then we can decorate it. So I've got my little, what I've got here is my um, scrap tub. And I've decided I like wrapping things round on these. So you can wrap things around them if you want to. You're not forced to do anything you don't want to do. But if I wanted to, I could have wrapped that round like that, for instance. Or I've got loads of little bits. Look, look at that lace. That lace is beautiful. I'm hoarding it a bit. I got it in some, uh, I got it in a swap with someone. We did a um, scrap swap and they had a scrap of this lace that they sent me. And oh, I love it. It's so pretty. So I'm hoarding it a bit. <laughs> then I've got some net. That would look nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, maybe a bit of net on there. I've got that lace there, which would look nice. Maybe just on the corner or something. Maybe just like, I don't know. Anyway, I'm having a bit of a... And another thing I did was I printed out some wedding words. I mean, I probably won't use them on this one, but I did print out some some wedding words um, that I could use. I've got a little piece of note paper there. Don't fancy that, though. Let's see what else I've got. It's amazing what I've got in here when I look. Look, this is... Um, this was from a pack of paper that I bought on Timu, and it in itself would make a journal, make a corner. But what I'm thinking with that is you'd have to glue it on, I think, because it would keep it would keep falling off. I'd glue it right in the corner here, just put a blob of glue there so it doesn't keep falling off, and so that you can still tuck your things in. But you could easily just use that, couldn't you? And you could just decorate it. Um, I've got a bit of bling. We can use a bit of bling, definitely. What, what's this? Oh, it's another one of those corners. Here's a bit more lace. I'd rather have white lace, I think, though, than cream. But that is pretty look. You could, that's what I mean by hiding the little, the little bits where you've gone wrong. You can glue your lace along the edge there. I've got some little pearly beads. They're pretty, aren't they? If we had um, lace and then beads, that would look pretty, wouldn't it? I've got this pink, this... Um, the lady who's asked me to make the journal for her daughter has said she wouldn't mind having a few little, past, you know, a few pastel colours in there, like white and pastels, I think. But I'm struggling to find some fabric for the cover. I've actually got a wedding album to use as the journal because that's what she said she wanted one the size of a wedding album so that's what I've got and it's a lovely album really pretty but uh, yeah I need to it does need covering I need to work out what I'm going to cover it with I could actually cover it with some of that you know I bet that would fit as well I have got more than one piece of it and it is lovely card isn't it it's really shimmery and it's got pattern on it I might do that. That's a good idea. Yeah. But yes, I've got a little bit of um, faux sari silk there that I could use, put on as a little bow. Because like I say, she did say she didn't, you know, she wanted a bit of pastel in there as well as white. I've got this um, sequin lace that could come in maybe. What else have I got in here? This is pretty, but I don't know if it will show up. It's like a little doily, a white doily. It would have to go on a background, wouldn't it? But really, I'd need a pastel coloured background. Um, She's having... The young lady that's getting married is having sunflowers for her bouquet because that's her mum's favourite flowers. How lovely is that? That's so nice, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, she's having um, sunflowers. Now, let's see. I'm wondering if I could 
just cut the purple bit off there and just have that white lace across the bottom of there. That would look pretty. I bet I've got some white lace anyway. I'll have a look in a minute. Yeah, I bet I don't need to cut that up. Right. Um, lots of net, which would allude to the veil, wouldn't it? Got a little tulip there. Look, that's no good. I think I might get some of the bits and bobs out of the wedding folder. I've got it here near me. And then I can use that to decorate mine. I mean, you use whatever you want to decorate yours with. I'm just sort of trying to give you a bit of an idea of how I would do it. What I'm doing is fannying about. That's what I'm doing, isn't it? It's what I always do. Faffing about. Oh, dear me. Faff, faff, faff. Right, so... Let's get this show on the road. But I definitely want some white lace across the bottom of there. So I'm going to find that. Right, so I usually finish off the edge of my um, tuck with a piece of lace or something like that. And it hides the little bits you've got around there. So I'm going to use some of that on that side. And then on the other side, I think I'm going to use some of this hold it together with elastic bands and then it doesn't like leave pin marks and things in it I was going to use something like that I'm regretting leaving that now look because the glue has glued little bits all over it yeah I've made I probably won't actually use this one in the in the wedding journal because I've made a right mess of it I think what I'll do is I'll just show you how I do it by using this one because I yeah I can't use that I've made too much of a mess of it but I usually like to edge the edge of my thing so what I would do is I would edge it with this I actually would do the other side with that I think edge it with that and then when I've got that on there like that and it's glued on I'll then glue on some ribbon over this edge bit here so I'll glue that right onto the edge so that the beads are right on just on the edge there and this fabric is all glued down then I'll get some of my ribbon oh actually now thinking oh that's too pale but it's not it looks really pretty with that I think so that's what I'm going to do with that um and then I did have a little bow somewhere. I could put that maybe right at the top there. Maybe cut the tails a little bit shorter. And then I need a sticker or a picture to go here, I think. So let me rummage round and find my stickers. I have um, printed out some wedding words. Now, which ones of them I'm going to use, I don't know. But... Uh, I'll use some of them. This side I've got, uh, I think I'll cut out the wedded bliss. I've um, cut, I actually printed them out too big. Well, they're not too big, but they're too big to use on some things in the journal. So I've printed them out smaller on the other side. This says wedded bliss. I think that's a nice, nice thing to use on one side. I do love putting my words you know putting words on i love to put words of encouragement and things like that on me on my um look at that oh that looks so pretty i love it but i do want a picture of something on there so let me see if i can find a picture i mean i've got all this finagle look Wowzers, I could really go to town, couldn't I? There's some little pastel beads there, look. There's ribbon, there's little flowers. Yeah, there's loads of things. There's little pearls there. That's going to be very handy, isn't it? I think I paid £3 for that on Vinted. Gorgeous. So that's in my wedding thing. This is the actual album. And I want to... I mean, if it hadn't got that sun damage on it... I could have probably got away without covering it, but no, um, and it's got this here too, look. So I want to cover it, and I'm thinking that this might be the perfect thing to cover it with if it's wide enough. I don't think it's 
No, it's not going to be wide enough, is it? It's going to be long enough, but not. Yeah, if I did it that way, but oh, I suppose I could do that in a different colour. I don't know. I don't know. It's got to be. It's got to be glued over the edge. Whatever I use. Yeah, I, I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to use fabric. I do like this bit here, but I'm thinking a different ribbon, and I could probably still use the gold gold string and the pearls and then this is um look at that that is a from a vintage book and I thought oh isn't that beautiful that bride I'm going to use that in this in this um wedding journal so yeah that's the book I'm going to use and of course I'll put you know, I'll make some little notebooks and things like that. I've got pictures. The bride is a lovely red-headed lady. So I've got some pictures of red-headed brides with sunflowers. I think they're gorgeous. So gorgeous. This is a, a greetings card that is embossed. I thought, oh, that would be nice to make a pocket or something with. Um... Oh, this is all things that somebody sent me and I'm so delighted. Yeah, somebody in one of the journal groups sent me this whole pack of, of stuff for the wedding journal. Oh, honestly, so nice of her. And look at all the lovely things, look. Promise, look, promise is a good word, isn't it? Look at that, look. Oh, look at these. They're pretty, aren't they? I wonder if one of those would... That would probably look nice on there. Let's see if I can get one out and try it. Yeah, it was some uh, young lady who was having a, a craft D stash. And she said, oh, what, what's everybody working on? And I said, oh, I'm working on a wedding. Oh, I've got loads of wedding stuff, she said. And so she sent me this whole pack full of wedding stuff. I'm so chuffed with it. I'm thinking perhaps without the silver on it, we could pop it like that and then have the bow on top of it well we could probably leave the silver on and put the bow on top of that and then i could probably try and glue that silver so it's not over the wedded bliss i think that's going to be actually I, I'm, no it's got to go it's getting on my on my last nerve yeah that's it so we have that there that there that on the edge like that so you would put your edging on if in fact you wanted an edging you don't have to put the ribbon on as well that's just me you'd put a word that went with your journal so you know any word that would would fit in with your journal you could put a little sticker just here you could put some little buttons some little tiny flowers yeah, there's lots of bits and pieces in here that I can use, look. Heart to have and to heart. Oh, look how lovely it is. Oh, my gosh. Bless the bride, look. Oh, I'm going to be so, so, so thrilled to do this. And look at this. Look at that. It said, instead of trying to reproduce exactly what I see before my eyes, I use colour more attributarily to express myself forcibly. Vincent van Gogh, who did the sunflowers, did he? Van Gogh's sunflowers show how colour can be used powerfully to capture a feeling painted to welcome his friend Paul Gargwin to the house they shared. The series of four paintings were created with vibrant yellow and orange tones and are brimming with joy and excitement. Look how lovely. And you can colour those ones in, look. Yeah. Um, I've got a list there. Look, there's a picture of a bride there I can use. Is that lovely card? Look, I think I did get that from a charity shop. Um, Forever in love. How lovely is that, look? These little bits here, which are like the pastel colours, that's very similar to the ribbon I chose, isn't it? I think it says water catch, flowers, hold on, 
throw the bouquet. Oh, the bride. Yeah, lovely. Isn't that lovely? Oh, look at that. Look, it's like a little table setting. So nice. So many lovely bits in here. I'm getting carried away now. I'm supposed to be showing you how to make. Look at that lot. Showing you how to make a blooming page corner. And I'm wafting on about bride and grooms and things because I'm so excited. Yes, the lovely Rachel sent me these. Look, look at that lot. Oh, so many lovely things. Look at this. Love that. Um, this is little um, precious moments look with little brides on. So cute. That was from me. That wasn't from the... Then we've got wedding cakes look and we've got... Oh, so lovely. I know I've got some stickers in here somewhere. Look at that. A little, um, like, invitation, probably. Look! How gorgeous are these going to look on a page, though? They really will be lovely, won't they? And then, when I'm done with them, you see, I can pass them on to someone else who's doing a wedding journal. But I, as in my usual style, I've got carried away with my stickers. And I've got bags and bags full of them. Look at these, look. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Do you think that's going to be too blingy for on there? Or it can, is there such a thing as too blingy for the bride, do you think? Let's have a look. Oh, it's fallen out like that. That's good. So I could perhaps put that there. That there. Wedded bliss. And then that underneath it. And I don't think that really needs anything else. No, I love that. So I'm going to put that on that side. And then on the other side, I, I've got to cover this up. I can't stand it. I was silly doing that, wasn't I? It was a silly thing to do. I don't want to use my beautiful things on it if I'm not going to use it in the journal. So, yeah, I need to cover that bit up, don't I? These are envelopes, look. They're pretty, aren't they? I wonder if that would cover that whole... Yeah, that would cover that whole thing up, wouldn't it? No, uh, not quite, I don't think. No, not quite. Ah! No, not quite. Right, so I've decided that what I'm going to do on here is, rather than discard it all together, I'm going to put some ribbon up and down. And I'm going to make this side with the groom's jacket on. I've got that bit all sorted, haven't I? I'll glue that on afterwards, but I want to do this bit first. So where is my, what I want is my green ribbon. Here it is, look. And what I'm going to do is glue that green ribbon. All right, let's just sort this out. Got to plug my, um, Plug me phone in. That's it. Right. So I'm going to glue. <coughs> lay, lay. I'm going to glue it down there and then I'm going to glue it down here. I shall cut it at the top and cross it over. Glue it like that. These are all the bits for the other side. And then I'm going to put... I've done with a bit of thing. I love that ring there. Oh, well, what about the just married bit or an invitation? Now, I'm going to... I want to put something because the lady that's requested the journal did want me to put, you know, bits about the groom as well, not just the bride. And uh, some of the things I have chosen for this journal I have made sure that I've included the groom I actually think I did put the word groom on my thing as well on my bit of paper yeah let's have a look I've got bride and groom husband and wife maybe if I put bride and groom I've got it in a smaller bit here yeah, maybe I could put bride and groom, couldn't I? Yes. <sighs> so 
So I'm going to put bride and groom. I'm going to put that picture of the groom. I'm going to put this green up there and down there. And then I'm thinking, uh, I want, well, I've got cream ribbon on the other side, haven't I? I well, did want to put that on. I'm wondering if it's a bit too fancy flancy. Or do I go all the way round with the ribbon? Oh, I get so cross on myself because I, I want it to be perfect. I, I'm not happy with it being okay. I want it to be, you know, it's a special thing for them. It's their wedding and I want it to be right, so, yeah, I don't, I'm not having that. Let's try some of this one. Well, maybe this one would work, because I can't find the end of it. Oh, here we are. So, like that. Oh, that's, yes, that will work. I'm happy with that. So let's snip that off there. That's going to go around there like that. So I'm going to glue it. I'm going to glue that on first. I'm going to glue it just there. Then I'll snip it. And then I'll lay it on flat again. Otherwise, you're going to have a lumpy bit there. And then I'll glue it down there. So I'll go off and get everything glued. And then I'll come back and show you what I've got. Okay. I've got I have stuff everywhere. But I have got it finished. So... Here is the side with the groom's outfit on it and it says bride and groom on there. I've put the green ribbon around the outside and I've put that lace along the bottom. And then on the other side, we've got wedded bliss and we've got the cream ribbon and the little pearly bows there. And we've also got a great big glob of glue seeping out from there. I need to just give that a bit of a wipe. It does dry clear, so we're all right, we're all right. <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty simple, but I didn't want to go too mad, and I'm quite happy with it. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and got some inspiration from it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye for now.